Welcome back to Kagan Tech and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can process your vocals in Adobe Audition for your YouTube videos. Uh, this is supposed to be a two three minute thing when you actually start getting it. Uh, it's not supposed to take you too much time and today's video is actually courtesy of Digital Dashery. Uh, Digital Dashery is my YouTube friend if you've not been on the channel. Uh, He's actually the one who needed this tutorial. He said he wanted to see how I uh, process my audio basically in Adobe Audition for YouTube. And he sent down an audio file of this for me to work with. So he shout out to Digital Dashery and let's just get right into it. The first thing we're going to do obviously is open Adobe Audition and start a new multi-track session. And we're going to call it Digital Dashery processing that sounds like he's going to jail anyway uh yeah so <laughs> once we're done with that we're gonna override whatever uh okay i don't really like to import so i'm just gonna drag and drop this is the file that he sent me and i'm just gonna drop that right there okay come on dude okay great we have all that imported now and let's just take a quick listen to the raw audio out of Dashery's microphone and see how it sounds. Hey guys, welcome back to Digital Dashery. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Aki KMG3 mechanical keyboard. Okay, so you can see my friend has a fantastic voice. He's got that Radio 95.7 voice, but the audio file itself is really not there. You can't just put this on your YouTube video and you know, it's just, it's not punchy, it's not great. So let's just, let's do some work in this real quick. Uh, Thankfully, there is no noise in his audio, so we don't even have to worry about that. Uh, the first thing that we're going to need to do is EQ. It should always be the first thing you do, I suppose. Uh, so you come into your effects, uh, filter and EQ, and you use a 30 band graphic equalizer. Uh, now at this stage, I don't expect you to be creating presets. Uh, Adobe Audition already has some great presets that are gonna work great for you. And uh, what I recommend for this stage, because he's a guy and uh, he has, uh, what's he called now? Some extra bass in his voice, just because men are that way. I recommend a gentle eye boost. This doesn't really do much to the waveform of the audio that we're dealing with, but it takes trained ears to actually tell the difference. But the eye boost just adds a little bit of clarity to the audio. And let's just apply that now and have you listen to what it sounds like. Maybe you can actually tell the difference. Hey guys, welcome back to Digital Dashery. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Aki KMG3 mechanical keyboard. Okay, so you see, there's really not much of a difference, but we're going to start noticing the difference when we decide to start compressing the file. But that's not even the next thing on our list. Now that we have equalized the audio, the next thing we want to do is normalize it. So we come back into effects and amplitude and compression, normalize. And usually this is usually on a percentage basis. And a lot of people like to normalize to hundred percent, but I just feel like that makes your audio clip a little bit. And I don't really like my audio clipping. So I switch it back to decibels and then I, I change this to negative one and apply. Great, so we have our audio normalized and it's not clipping and let's hear what Digital Dashery sounds like now. Hey guys, welcome back to Digital Dashery. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Aki KMG3 mechanical keyboard. Okay, it's already sounding great, but it's not perfect yet. Uh, so let's just do a quick recap now. First thing we did was we EQ'd and now we normalized and the next thing we want to do at this point is compress. We need to compress the audio. And we're just going to come back into effects. We're going to come to amplitude and compression and our multi-band compressor. And here, the, the, the wonderful thing about Adobe Audition is they already have all these great presets, like I said. So we're going to use this broadcast preset and we're going to apply it. Basically, this just makes your audio sound like you're using like a radio quality, FM quality compression. And yes, there we have that clipping audio. I really hate that. Anyway, uh, let's just listen to what Dashery sounds like now. Hey guys, welcome back to Digital Dashery. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Aki KMG3 mechanical keyboard. Let's go. 
Okay, so he already sounds great, but it's, it's not perfect. Or at least to me, it's not. Somebody else might have this audio around and think, okay, great. Uh, but no, we're not done. Uh, the next thing we want to do is go back and normalize that audio again. Back to negative one like we did before. Uh, we already have that effect saved, so we just apply. And I think this looks much better. Okay, uh, the final step is not really necessary but it's a great way to get your audio sounding a little more professional like radio like uh basically you just come into effects and you go to reverb studio reverb and then you select the vocal reverb small now by itself this is a terrible effect to have on your audio it sounds terrible you should listen to what it sounds like right now hey guys welcome back to digital dashery you see, it just sounds like he's talking from like a bathroom or like a toilet or something. And that's just, no, that's that sucks. So uh, the way we make this sound better is basically the only two dials we need to be torching is the output level dials. And you just drag this all the way up to 100% um, for the dry vocals. That's basically 100% of your original vocals. And you add about 10% of the uh, wet vocals. That's the... What's it called now? That's the echo, basically. Uh, and then you just apply. Now, you want to hear what that completely sounds like. So you see how professionally it begins to sound. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Digital Dashery. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Aki KMG3 mechanical keyboard. It just adds that much depth to his voice. Like, there's just so much depth now. Let's listen to some other beats in the recording. On the back, there are two rubber pads towards the front and two foldable legs near the rear. The Aki logo is branded on the front of the keyboard. Now I have Digital Dashery sounding like a professional radio broadcaster. Quite easy, isn't it? Uh, let me know in the, um, in the comment section below if you'd like to see another video where I talk about making yourself sound better in Adobe Audition. And that's just, you know... That's not actually how to process your audio for YouTube, but just how to make your vocals sound better for your YouTube videos. Uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you, Digital Dashery, for making me do this video. Uh, I actually did this video before, but I had my mic set up wrong, so I was getting some static noise. It's I apologize for that. Uh, yeah, thank you, Digital Dashery, for making me do this video. You guys should go check out his channel. Uh, give him a thumbs up. Subscribe to him. Tell him Kagan sent you if you want to leave a comment. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and see you on my next video that should be coming in the next couple of days. Peace. There are four. <laughs> oh my goodness.